Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new to my channel and you're interested in looking your best, feeling your best, or maybe interested in becoming a model, definitely want to check out the rest of my content. I make awesome videos on a weekly basis where I give you guys some of the best tips. Previously, I gave you guys the top 10 male models in the industry today. Now let's look at the highest paid male models working. Coming in at number 10 is Lucky Blue Smith. Lucky Blue Smith, he's a model, he's an actor, he's also a musician. His father was actually a musician as well and his mother and three sisters are also models. Lucky has been featured on Teen Vogue magazine, he's signed with IMG, and he makes an earning of $1 million per year. At number 9 is German model Tim Schumacher. Tim got his big break in modeling when he opened and closed a show for Prada in 2013. He's gone on to do campaigns for H&M, Prada, Calvin Klein, Dior, and many more. At number 8 is Brazilian model Marlon. Marlon, he's a major international model. He's done numerous campaigns for big names like Diesel. He was a face of Diesel in 2011. He's also done a lot of campaigns for Dolce and Gabbana as well. Marlon is an actor and despite his resemblance to Kit Harrington, he is not Jon Snow. At number seven is Australian model Jordan Barrett. Jordan was 2016 male model of the year. He's also been voted as the it boy of the new era for models by Vogue magazine. Jordan has an impeccable style and he's also received numerous awards from GQ magazine for his sense of fashion. At number six is social media influencer, model, actor, and stylist, Luca Sabat. Luca comes from a fashion family. His father was a well-known fashion designer and his mother was a well-known fashion stylist. Luca has been featured on Vogue magazine, Complex. More recently, he's been breaking into the big screens and doing a lot of acting. At number five is the reigning male model of the year, Alton Mason. Alton was a former dancer in Los Angeles and actually got discovered um, by his dance instructor who recommended him to an agent. Alton got his big break when he was discovered on Instagram by Kanye West and he was then featured in Yeezy's collection. Alton has then gone on to do ads for Gucci, Hugo Boss, Tom Ford, Louis Vuitton and so much more. At number 4 is supermodel Sean O'Pry. Sean has a large body of work. He's done advertising campaigns for Calvin Klein, Giorgio Armani, Versace, Dolce & Gabbana and so many more. He's also done a lot of runway shows for just about every major fashion designer. Sean has featured in Madonna's music video, Girls Gone Wild. He's also featured in Taylor Swift's video, Blank Space. He was listed by Forbes magazine as one of the most successful male models in the industry. That just makes you happy when I dance to that song. <laughs> you don't fancy dancing to it. It's not unusual to be loved. At number three is British supermodel David Gandhi. David actually began his modeling career when he tried out for a television competition and won. He won for best male model and since then he went on to become the face of Dolce and Gabbana and this is where he got most of his earnings. He also has a passion for writing and he's actually written for Vogue magazine and GQ magazine as well. He's received numerous awards like Model of the Year and Most Influential Men in Britain. At number two is Justice Jocelyn. Justice was a former football wide receiver and then he went on to become a model and an actor. He was fortunate enough to be the face of various brands like Bulgari, Giorgio Armani, Timbaland, Nautica, Tommy Bahamas, and more. Finally, at number one is by far the most successful male model working today is supermodel John Cortargerena. John was discovered at a fashion show while he was actually attending as a guest. He was invited by his friend and then ran into a booker who convinced him and persuaded him to pursue modeling and sign with her agency. Shortly after that, John became the face of Cavalli at only age 18. He also became the face of Versace, Giorgio Armani, Diesel, Zara, and a couple more big brands. 
So that's it for the top 10 highest paid male models in the industry today. If you guys like this video, I always appreciate a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll catch you guys in my next one.